Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct angle 52 and a half degree. Now, the first thing you do when you want to construct is to draw your horizontal line. Now, with the help of your T square, right, you place your T square and you draw your horizontal line, faint line first, right. Then the next thing you do, you pick a point like I showed you earlier. This is the point you are picking. Let's say this is point A, and you measure 50, 40, any choice of your choice, the millimeter. So I'll be taking 60 millimeter, or let me see, I'm taking 70 millimeter, depends on your choice. So from there, I am going to thicken it. So this is A, and this is what B. Now, I want to draw 52 and a half. Now, the question you ask yourself, we have some special angles, right? And the angles are, we have 30 degree, we have 45 degree, we have 60 degree, right? And 90 degree. 90 degree. Now, you now ask yourself, 52 and a half degree, where does it fall in these four angles? It falls between 45 and 60 degree right so the next thing you do since we are using our T square and C square as basis so you take your your C square your T square you place it right now you take your 60 degree C square you take your 60 degree C square and you place it at that point right you take it to point A now I told you from my earlier video that when you place it, this inclined side is 60 degree. So you just draw with your faint line this way. You can see that. Similarly, you take your 45 degree and you place it on your T square, right? And you place it this way. And you just draw another inclined line this way, right? Now, what you've done, you successfully drawn. 45 and what and 60 so let's say this is the zero degree is increasing to what 45 degree is increasing to what 60 degree now with because the reason why we're drawing these two angles is because with the two and a half falls in between them so it means that the two and a half is somewhere in this middle area here right so what we'll do is i can easily enlarge this a little bit right now you take your compass at any given radius you place it here at where all those points meet and you are going to draw an arc this way to touch the horizontal now if you choose to you can extend it if you choose to you can leave it the way it is now at where it bisects these two points here if you like you extend if you like you leave it the way it is place it at one of those points it bisects on that is on the line of what 45 degree you place it at that point and you strike an arc right then you take it on the line of what 60 where it bisects place it at that point you strike another arc so what do you notice they are intersecting at this point now when i draw the line this way right i will take in it and i'll tell you why i'm taking the line i'll take it from here take it to this point right now this will be the seven and a half right so we have seven and a half here in between this because from here to here is 15 degree so in by 15 degree you're having seven and a half so 7 and a half plus 55 plus 45 will give you what? 52 and a half. So it means that the angle between here and here is what? 52 and a half. Is that taken? So successfully, you can check if you want to check with your protractor. I discovered that the angle from this horizontal to the vertical line here, to this inclined line here is what? 52 and a half. So, 
If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.